Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, in this video, I'll be comparing two technologies, which is Apache HBase and Apache Hive. Although uh, I have discussed this, I have made a couple of, like not couple of, multiple videos of these uh, two technologies, but I would like to compare these two technologies because a lot of things are common and a lot of differences are available in these two technologies. Apache HBase and Apache Hive both works on tables, but we do have some differences available which I'll be highlighting in this video. Let's get started. If I talk about Apache HBase, it's a simple distributed database management system which is a part of Hadoop's ecosystem and it's a columnar oriented storage, right? On the other hand, if I talk about Apache Hive, uh, the common thing is Apache Hadoop that both are the uh, important uh, part of Hadoop ecosystem and Hive is working uh, on the top of Hadoop but it's a, basically it's a data warehouse. What is data warehouse? Data warehouse actually uh, we use this uh, for our analysis and reporting purpose, right? Data warehouse got some important characteristics with the likes of historical data it contains, right? It is a, a non-volatile storage, right? So we got some uh, we got some um, uh, characteristics available of data warehouse, and it's a it's working on top of a dupe. Like in this diagram, it's been shown that Hive is at a one layer, which is working on the top of Hadoop, which is further consisting of three core components, SDFS, MapReduce, YARN. So let's talk about Apache HBase first. Apache HBase is a database management system, like we all have studied in a DBMS, like RDBMS, where we were having Oracle, MySQL. It's also a database management system, but difference is it's a columnar oriented storage. Next, it is used for both transaction processing and analytical processing. What is uh, transaction processing? Transaction processing meaning is like where the, where we have a time constraint, right? Where we have to get the result as soon as possible, right? It's called transaction processing. Analytical processing means like based upon some data, we do some we get some insights out of this, right? It's called analytical processing. In this case, it's not a time it's not a time constraint, right? Analytical processing. A transaction processing, on the other hand, is a time constraint uh, thing. So it means. Uh, we can use HBase with those applications which is working on banking, which is working on some financial stuff where we have to revert the result as soon as possible. Next is it is it provides low latency and random access for uh, some supported operations. As I've already have stated in my one of my previous video, like where I have told you that uh, it provides random access. It, uh, the thing is like by on a like by default HDFS because HBase is indirectly using the uh, this HDFS behind the scenes and HDFS doesn't provide the random reader access. That's why HBase came into the picture. So it provides low latency and random access for uh, some supported operations. Next, it provides no SQL interface. It means there's no support for structured query language in the case of Apache HBase, right? Then it uses HDFS. As I've already have stated, like uh, Apache HBase also works on top of Hadoop. Uh, but HBase doesn't make use of MapReduce, it just make use of the HDFS uh, and it has its own architecture, it has its own data model, everything is different, right? Although it's working on top of Hadoop, but the thing is like it only making use of HDFS, but it doesn't make use of MapReduce, it has its own architecture for processing. Then we have a data model, it's a columnar oriented storage, so it's a columnar oriented storage, it stores the result in the form of column families and then we have a columns, right? It's not a row oriented storage like we have a, in a traditional databases. If I go to Apache Hive, it's a data warehouse. As I've already stated, data warehouse is different from the uh, database. Like it has got its own characteristics like time variant, non-volatile, right? Uh, it contain data from multiple source sources, heterogene heterogeneous sources, right? It's used only for analytical processing, like uh, based upon the data that we are having that we'll be getting some insights of, out of that data. So it's used for analytical processing for doing some analysis. It's only suitable for batch processing that can tolerate high latency. So as uh, Apache Hadoop is also meant for batch processing, it's so it, it works on footsteps of Apache Hadoop, which is used for batch processing. And we all know that in a batch processing, there is no time constraint. It means it can tolerate high latency. There'll be a delay. It means I'll be using Hive in those scenarios with this no time constraint, right? 
then it provides sql interface we all know that apache hive though uh, has its own language called hive query language hql but it doesn't it it also provide you the structured query language interface and it uses both hdfs and mapreduce engine like in other hand hbase uh, when, while while i was discussing hbase i have told you that uh, uh, apache hbase only make use of hdfs not mapreduce but hive make use of both of the hadoop core components data model is similar to databases like in the case of apache hbase it has its own data model where we don't have to define the columns in advance but in this case we have to define our columns while creating a table with a fixed schema on other hand hbase doesn't have a fixed schema it's a flexible schema because we don't declare the columns initially we just write create table in column family but in the case of traditional databases or in a hive we have to define our all the columns the schema in advance right so these are the some of the like uh, comparisons which i have made in this video i hope you must have understood the concept if you have an, if you have any query or question please feel free to comment on my video thanks for watching guys see you next video